Hi, my name is Lars and I am one of the application engineers here at Cat Dimensions. In this video here, we're going to show you a little bit about Camworks nesting. We're going to try to do this in around uh, four minutes or less here. So let's uh, jump into this SolidWorks add-on. So I'm going to jump into SolidWorks and you will see I got an assembly in here. Um, and the, the Camworks nesting is an add-on that runs right inside SolidWorks. It's actually, if you go into your SolidWorks add-ons where you have your SolidWorks simulation and stuff, you'll see the nesting is sitting right down here. It is it's, it's a very powerful uh, add-on, uh, but very easy to use. So that's why we got this uh, restriction on the time. So I'm going to create a new nesting job, and I get this little dialog box up here. You will see that it pulled all this information right out of our SolidWorks part. You will see as I click over here, you will see that it highlights in the graphics area, but also I have this little preview window here that will show me that over, over here. So all this stuff is pulled right out of our SolidWorks part that is sitting here. Uh, you will all see that it actually pulled pull the material right out of that too. In this scene here, I can also sort by thickness. You'll see we got the different thicknesses in here of the different parts. And also, of course, quantities that I can change right on the fly if I want to. So in this case here, I know that I want to make uh, some more than just a single piece of this piece of furniture. So I'm just going to go in and highlight all of them. Maybe make 100. And uh, these here, make 200 of these. And I can actually also uh, write uh, right in here um, if I need that. I can also control stuff at angles when it's nesting this inside of plates, uh, how it's going to uh, to work with this. So if I go over here and just select all these, they're right now set to a step angle of one, which means that Camworks nesting will try to fit everything within one. But I can actually also provide my own angle and say I only want you to be able to rotate it 90, 180, and maybe 360 for that matter. And now that's what it will be rotated within. Um, you will see over here again we got the material. We can see this is the different materials that is in there. Grain direction can be set to. And uh, I can jump now over to our sheet data because I'm pretty much done here with the parts. The sheet data in here. And uh, in here I can choose my sheets. It's looking back at the part data and knows that we had a one inch. And you will see I got all different kinds of sheet sizes in here. I can also go in and do uh, custom sizes or I could do a uh, draw something up myself in a DXF and actually import maybe using draft site or something like that again drain direction and stuff like that but we need some one inch sheets so I'm going to click on that one and two inch sheets thickness maybe I have a thousand available of those and uh, also there's one that is five inch uh, showing up like that maybe we've got a hundred for that so we can add that there and, and, and we have picked that there I'm not going to worry about grain direction uh, down here, it, what it's going to do is going to create it out as configurations, uh, but we could actually also choose to create it out as separate assembly files for the different thicknesses. But in this case here, I'm just going to hit the green check mark and let it start doing its calculations. This here, it takes about probably um, about maybe a minute, a minute and a half to, uh, to kind of like go through the process of creating all these different configurations. Camworks now notifies us that uh, Camworks nesting has completed. I'm going to hit OK here. And uh, as I do that, I actually get uh, populated with this little notepad that shows me that it created all these parts and where it, it, it deposited them and stuff like that. And if I go in now, you will see that we actually got the sheet layout here. If I go over to the configuration tab, we will see that we have the different uh, layout for the different sheets right here ready uh, to process. So in this case here, you could uh, you could export this out as a DXF and you need to go to your laser. Or if you have like a wood router, maybe this time is the time you will go over to like Camworks machining and get this machined out here. But this is really what, uh, what they will do here. It will create all the different sheets layouts, uh, what is needed, what you specified. Um, I hope that you find this helpful. If you uh, need more information, please contact us and we're more than happy to uh, give you some more information. Thank you and uh, have a great day.